Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be doing a Banggood window shopping video. There's a lot of new things that just got released. So let's just do a quick overrun and see what's new and just check out some of the things. So right now, as we can see, these were just released today. They're two stacks, uh, 20 by 20 stacks to be exact with F4 microcontroller units. And this is the Sky Stars Talon. 50 bucks for a 20 by 20 stack. Let's see what it comes with. 15 amp 4 and 1 ESCs. This is pretty interesting because these two are stating that they could take up to a 6S, which is pretty interesting, I might say. So I did pick up a couple of these so I can do some noise testing and stress testing on 6S because I just moved my office. And uh, right now I'm building the complete setup to enable me to make these tests a lot quicker and easier and just a dedicated place for it so a lot of your um we could say your feedbacks has been taken into consideration so this is a 50 dollars stack 20 by 20 uh we have a 100 milliwatt vtx so we can say let's just say 70 just to be exact this is theoretical uh five volts so the, the vtx on this one takes five volts and tbs smart audio really nice mpu 6000 we do have osd and again the 6s is pretty interesting here uh does it say what the flight controller takes so we don't know how the flight controller is currently being powered uh but maybe if we scroll down we will it looks really nice is it by pins or connector it seems to be by connector here so if you like the connector type this looks decent i mean it's 50 bucks look at look at that that is insane how they fit this thing on um that's just pretty crazy now i wouldn't recommend running this on a 6s personally but maybe 6s tiny uh motors not like a kind of like a racing build or a low kv build probably like 6s micro builds so this is 50 bucks i'll have it linked down below so you can go ahead and check that out and obviously i'll keep everything in the same order that we go ahead and check them out and this one is more interesting in my in my eyes for some reason Maybe they're exactly the same. Uh, don't know just yet, but it comes with a 200 milliwatt VTX, theoretical 200 milliwatt, and it even has off button. So two to six S, the VTX takes up to a six S, which is really nice. And it does have five volt for the camera. Pretty cool, smart audio, nice to see. It's really good to see smart audio everywhere now. So you can give the video camera either battery voltage or five volt on this one. Omnibus F4, RGB LED, PPM. So if you're still rocking PPM, you can still do that here. And let's just scroll down. It looks like a really nice stack, but I mean, this is just from pictures here. It looks like a different flight controller because the other one had the OSD next to the microcontroller unit. Uh, whoa, really? That's pretty crazy. Uh, so it supposedly could take some pretty large motors here. And again, this is rated for 6S. I don't know, 6S, like, for example, like a 5-inch build. Probably a 6S, I would just stick to a 6S micro build or probably like a 3-inch build or something maximum. This is just my opinion. But you can do as you please. I'll have a link down below. The pricing looks pretty good compared to other ones in this kind of genre. Uh, for example, the Acon goes for 90 bucks just to flight control and the ESC. However, this one comes with a VTX as well. So here we have uh, some pretty interesting things. For example, the, I, the iFly iPika. These are really, really old. These came out a while ago. I'll have them also linked down below in the order we're going in. 13 bucks. I think they're trying to get rid of the stock. I, th I remember I've tested these, but I could be wrong. I will go ahead and see if I can get my hands on some more to do some more noise testing on. The capacitor array looks beautiful. There are, it is using smaller MOSFETs. I think the 3x3s three here. And um, what is it rated up to? 5S. Okay, that's fine. That's really nice. They're not over-exaggerating here. You have LED and obviously we do have telemetry. I think this was good. It could be a really good new budget uh, mid-range ESC. And the reason why the price drops is we got two tantalum capacitors as well here. It seems like it would run pretty decently. Um, knowing iFly, obviously they have great customer support and I've used many of their products and uh, it's pretty good. So I'll have this one linked down below. That's really nice that uh, they're probably trying to get rid of stock here. I mean, this is the type of things, if it runs out, you're not going to be seeing it again because it's a really old model from them. And just because it's an old model doesn't mean it's bad. It, it could be even better. It's Some older things are way better than newer things. For example, the Racer Star 30 amp V2s. Remember those? I still have those. Like two Two years still strong and a lot of people would agree with me on that so a good esc will always be a good esc the newest ones doesn't always mean it could be good here we have t-motor slim escs i still haven't personally set up a slim esc um on any of my builds so if anyone's used one or had some experience with them let me know which ones and how they're running and what you're running on five three six s and is there noise did you have to put capacitor so let us know down in the comment section because there is such like minimal amount of space for 
filtration that it can be somewhat scary and it possibly will you'll need to add a lot more uh you probably need to add a fat low ASR capacitor so this is really nice actually i didn't notice this before we see we see that we do have a nice capacitor array so they're using smaller fets and that's why it's rated up to a 5s here uh t motor is good i don't really have to say much um back then like maybe two years ago i used to have a lot of problems with their motors just the, the shaft breaking while i'm just putting on the propeller it seems to be of good price but we'll just see how well it performs it's really nice form factor it could be one of the best slim escs uh, but obviously if you add a low ESR capacitor any ESC would be pretty good but there's some characteristics that uh hopefully i'm going to have enough time to show you how i can tell that it's going to be a pretty good esc or not it's more it's kind of like throttle response but not really throttle response it's more of um the sudden rush of voltage or current sometimes it makes an esc act weird and uh i'll hopefully i'll be able to simulate that for you so you guys can check it out so i'll have this again linked down below also and obviously if you check those out those really support the channel now if any of you haven't seen my posts uh t motor just released their official x class motor these motors are freaking hella expensive this is a 6s motor 120 bucks just for one motor so hopefully you know i'm not gonna be able to purchase this but i'm gonna try to reach out and uh get this for an x class build and i have a diy x class frame on the go or in progress currently which i'll make a really nice video for me seeing seeing it and just showing you how to build your own custom uh x class for as cheap as possible we're gonna try to beat like the cheapest one which is around i think 170 bucks here on banggood and also iflight has one so we're gonna see if we could beat that so yeah these, these are just the motors are really damn expensive so yeah i'll have it linked down below as well here okay so let's see what else do we have all right we have these motors and don't really care hmm yeah so here's this one this is an x well it's not really x class it's a 800 millimeter x class i think it's supposed to be a thousand minimum if i remember correctly i could be wrong so this weighs around 1.1 kilograms as you can tell 100 1100 uh, grams here 170 bucks it looks really nice it looks like obviously the clone i don't know if it really looks exactly like a clone of the uh what is it the machine the catalyst uh machine works i think yeah, but that one's really expensive so hopefully this one's good i'll also try to get my hands on this i'll have it linked down below as well so yeah we're gonna see if we can diy one cheaper but we won't add these supporting uh bars across when we build ours what we're, what we're going to do is probably end up going to hobby king because that's the only place that has them these special mounts that holds the arms here and a special mount for the motor and you could buy these carbon fiber tubes for pretty cheap and then what we can do is i'm going to release my design for just the main body frame and because of the main the, the main body part here you can change it from an x uh stretch x to a normal true x to a squashed x i think they're called so i'll be able to do more than one design and just play around with it and um you can theoretically cut it even if you don't have a cnc machine what you can do is print out the design and then use like a dremel just take your sweet ass time or just try to cut it up it might not come out to a really nice finish but as long as it's functional then you should be good so we're gonna try to uh, build our own also not to this extent but something a bit easier just a top and a bottom plate some mounting holes for the camera and mounting holes for the pdb flight controller etc so we'll do something of this nature here hopefully these are aluminum because the one i'm going to do is we're going to use pretty good uh bars here to hold the, the uh aluminum ones basically machined aluminum from hobby king uh which once i get to that stage i'll show you guys so yeah so it looks good very nice really priced compared to other ones currently in the market and as we can tell here maya tech released uh this uh, thrust stand if you're interested there's two versions one the, basically these two here uh the only difference between them is the load cell which is the right there oh, let me just show you right here so the first two on the bottom this is the the top end one here it, all it does is it has a current sensor and all these types of things extra on this one the other two the load sensor which is this one here uh is it called the load sensor i forgot what it was called anyways uh load cell sorry uh one of them is a five kilogram and then the other one's a 10 kilogram which is the mid-range one this is the top range which is also a 10 kilogram plus this added uh current sensor module if you might say it's around 90 bucks so yeah um i guess it's good if you wanted one it's really nice platform to see if you have a bad motor but you can only do that in any other way as well this is a really nice price 21 bucks i haven't used it i have one and i've been wanting to put on a build for the longest time it's a 20 by 20 stack um 
let's see its current capabilities here. I'll have a link down below also. It's the Hack RC 20 by 20. So this is a $20 stack. It's just DShot 600. It's pretty cheap because it's a really old model now. And um, I mean, it should be good for a micro if you're looking for a budget. This is going to perform pretty good. Filtration looks good for a micro build, so you shouldn't have any issues in there. And I think that was a heat sink right here. So that's really nice. So you have your FETs pretty much uh to stay cool so that's always good because uh you just get more power out of them 52 bucks that's a bit too much let's see mamba the mamba motors are really good the 2650 kvs they're really really good uh durability long i still haven't done any of those tests but i do have the diatone and i am loving it and it has these motors i'll have them linked down below as well the 2650 they're really really awesome motors I haven't used the low KV, but in terms of performance, the performance is totally there. In terms of durability and longevity, I can't answer that just yet, but I am flying it quite often now. Oh, wow. Oh, but it's a pretty weak one here. 40 bucks for a full stack with VTX here for, but it's a 12 amp, so you're gonna have to set this up on a micro if you're gonna do that, but that's a really good price in my opinion. I'll even have a link down below. 40 bucks is pretty good for, for a complete internal stack. You could build micros pretty cheap now. Uh, this frame looks interesting, but personally, I wouldn't buy it. I'd rather get the Geb RC full-fledged BNF version. It has just everything in it. Um, new T motors. I think I have these on the way. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. What else do we have here? Hmm. All right. So here we also have more X-Class motors from RCN Power. They're slightly more expensive, though, than the... Uh, uh, what is it called? The T motors, because these run from 4 to 12 S, and you could choose the KV you want. The T motor was 500 and something running on 6S, but this you could get the 360 and run 12S if you wanted to. They look like really sexy motors. It looks like some kind of a Ferrari motor. It's pretty crazy. I really like the color. I'll have a link down below. You can go ahead and check that out. All right, so we also have this HGLRC stack. 90 bucks, but it kind of looks like the Ori as well as the new Akon. Uh, no, I don't, I wouldn't say the new Acon. Oh, let's just see. It's 90 bucks. God damn. They're so expensive. 45 amps. Still using baby fets. Um, I call them baby fets. I mean, just the smallest size you could possibly use on these. I mean, you could use smaller, but it, yeah, this just wouldn't be a very smart idea. What do we have? We have OSD. Whoa. Look at those capacitor array. This just looks very beautiful. Two to six S they're M2 holes. So keep that in mind. If you're purchasing this. And just a ton load of, uh, what are they called? Rubber gaskets here. Or what are they called? O-rings. Rubber O-rings. 45 amps. I think they're slightly over-exaggerating here. Let's see. Hmm. I mean, 35 amps, 6S, 45. I mean, this looks like a good build maybe for a maximum of 5S. But don't take my word for it. This is just me speaking just out of my ass right now. Um, it looks really nice in the in the in the fact that it just has a lot of filtration going on for it, and we do have this uh, copper rod here to improve current flow. Overall, it looks okay, but I mean that that's all I can say. So these are M2 holes. Don't forget. So if you had one with like an M3 holes, then you know it's not going to fit. You're going to need M2 screws here, some sort of adapter. So keep that in mind. So it's using the two millimeter holes for this and it's 20 by 20 stack. So I'll just link that also below. I'll have them all named. I know some of you complain about that. Let's go ahead and see what else we have. The Yoshino's are done. Yes, see. Oh my God, I had nightmares with that one. Let's see, what else do we have? Okay, hmm. All right, so Hollybro released a 20 by 20 stack and it seems like it's M2 holes, which is two millimeter holes, 56 freaking dollars god damn 45 amps these look like the good fats that are on their uh f3 esc uh the, the minis is this an f3 yeah this is an f3 wow but i don't think we have i think we have a, a current reading for each side but i could be wrong here we'll double check that now as we go down so let's see what we got okay telemetry support three to six s okay f3 microcontroller unit uh okay 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 m2 holes so two millimeter holes keep that in mind comes with a low esr capacitor and the cables needed hmm i want to see the other side filtration looks good could be better look at these monsters look at that f3 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 these are the uh f3 microcontroller units it's pretty crazy and these are the uh what are they called the fet drivers here and these are the fets these are available on their f3 mini escs same exact fets here and this is supposed to be uh like kind of like a heat sink in a way to keep it overall cool uh so theoretically it could handle more amperage but that's just again theoretical um so time will tell 
So hopefully I get my hands on this as well very soon. So it doesn't have a, it, yeah. So the current sensing, the current sensing will not be through telemetry. Telemetry will give you RPM voltage possibly, and maybe some RPM and temperature. But current sensing is done through the analog digital one. You know, just a dedicated wire for the current reading. So it's just using uh, those two combined together somehow. Uh, v background. There's no five volt regulators. Four motors, obviously. Oh, it looks good. I mean, it looks good. It comes with a capacitor. So, but it's pretty expensive. Uh, if it performs really good, then that's not a really big problem. Let's see what else we have. We have these Amax motors, never used them, so don't really care that much right now. Uh, let's see what else we got. All right, so we're just going to check out a different area. We're going to do the radios real quick because I'll probably take a lot of your time here. So we have this one. It's kind of like a US, just for the PC possibly, uh, simulator. So you can practice your simulators instead of you, if you didn't want to do some kind of a connection to the PC. But if you have FR Sky, you can just connect the, the USB and you're good to go. We have another just multi-protocol, not really interesting. Jumper, this looks pretty interesting. Multi-protocol module. It, I think it comes on the back. Hall effect gimbals. And we have just a carbon fiber theme. This is this is pretty insane and massive. 285 bucks for this new Flysky one. Um, in, I know in China, from my friends, that the, this is getting a lot of hype. But, you know, the... the um, the the module bay i don't think it's the correct size here but maybe it has some sort of an attachment that's why we have these here so i don't know what the hell this is all about um but it's going to be pretty interesting if i can get my hands on one of these uh so we'll see how that does i don't know what the screen is going to be able to show you it's not really showing much here but uh it looks nice i mean you still has those big ass uh receivers for the fly sky okay so this is pretty interesting now now the fr sky is releasing a new protocol they're also releasing two new x lights the x light s and the x light pro the x light pro i think what it has going for it is just it looks a lot it's just different you know it just looks like a limited edition kind of thing going on for it and all it is is the same thing it just has some extra little features i think it has even bluetooth built in now so you can uh, basically output the telemetry. It looks really nice in the sun. Look at that. That's just really awesome. But I mean, if you already got yours, uh, I don't know if it justifies paying the extra two hundred dollars. But that comes back to you. I mean, the extra fifty, I think, or hundred or eighty bucks now. Let's just double check that. Uh, so this one around sixty bucks extra for the for the pro version, and for the S version, ten bucks more. Yeah, this is forty. This is fifty. Yeah, ten bucks more. But you can also get this one, and it gives you with the end caps for the 18650. So I'll have a link down below. So the $140 one. Um, but if you're going to be looking for a lot of telemetry things to drop down to your phone and stuff, then you possibly want one of these. I'm not sure if it really does have the Bluetooth built in, but hopefully I'll get my hands on one of those very soon. And everything here just looks pretty basic. Man, I think that's currently it. Also, there's some new things coming up. We do have the Sky Zones. Sky Zones, I think, is releasing two new goggles. I'm not sure, but I know they're releasing something new. Uh, pros, pros, uh, possibly a fully fixed Sky Zone SK03, or maybe they're going to call it SK04. But I know they're releasing a goggle, or possibly two again. I think they're also releasing a budget model that's a really good model. I could be wrong about the budget model, but I know they're releasing a goggle for sure within the next two months so keep that in mind uh we should be seeing that very soon on the channel and other channels as well and well that's it guys i really hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you guys next time i have a lot of new updates which you guys i think will be interested in and until then i'll see you next time peace out guys